Um, so I'm not in today. Angle relationships. Uh, to follow along with the discussion, you certainly need to recall what a vertical angle is. Um, vertical angles look like this. By many of your definitions that we just covered, vertical angle occurs at the intersection or when two lines intersect. Of course, being less specific and just saying when two lines intersect. Um, we also uh, understand it occurs when two rays, two segments, or any combination of the three occurs. Uh, two pairs of vertical angles are created. The vertical angles are here. So let's be clear. The vertical angles are one and two. Now, that's not because they're vertical up and down. This vertical refers to, comes from uh, vertex, not from vertical horizontal. It's not related to vertical horizontal. It's related to um, uh, vertical horizontal. And, um, but there's not just this set from one and two, there's also another pair of vertical angles. And I guess def technically it's pair of vertical angles. And what we'll find for our very first conjecture um, is that, well, actually I think it's conjecture two, so I'm going out of order. Uh, so let's do this, pow, pow, conjecture two. Yeah, my, obviously I'm still not fully there. I'm going out of order. Vertical angles are, and normally I'd stop here and ask you to pause and you'd fill this out and hopefully you would do, or you'd write out the word congruent. So vertical angles are in fact congruent. Um, now I have to do the next conjecture. And that would be um, a conjecture regarding the pair of linear angles. And there's that squeaking again. It's almost like we're on a chalkboard way back when. So a pair of linear angles. A pair of linear angles uh, are formed. I know a lot of your definitions were weird, or not weird, not what I'm used to. Um, Pair of linear angles are pr probably easier to understand. Um, they're called linear angles because the word linear, that is a line. There's two of them, one, two. And these two angles are such that they're formed when that line and there's a ray extending out. The end point of the ray is on the line. Uh, the definition that I've seen, uh, not just in our textbook and other textbooks as well and online, not the goofy, some of the goofy ones that you guys looked up, which are perfectly fine. Uh, most important thing is to get the understanding. But I think I shared this with the other class, one or two of the classes. Um, wow, that's gross. Uh, now it's recorded. Uh, that it's a pair of angles that share a vertex and a side. And their non-common side, the one that's not shared, uh, forms a line. So... That's a linear pair of angles. So our first conjecture, because I did them out of order, remember, is that a pair of linear angles, and I should really print, because the printing is bad enough. I was just thinking maybe that if I didn't print, it wouldn't squeak as much. A pair of linear angles are I think the book calls them linear pair of angles. Um, I interchange. So a pair of linear angles or a linear pair of angles are, and then if I was teaching, I would stop. Maybe you guys can hit pause and discuss it. Now that you've unpaused, um, 
maybe you've talked the I talked about the idea of the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two must equal 180 degrees. Yeah, that's 180. Um, but probably a good word to put in here is supplementary. And if you want to make fun of Mr. Zuka, he says supplementary. So um, that really should be the information you need to complete the homework. So um, that's it. Have a nice day. Have a good weekend and make good choices.